Good morning guys, it is Saturday the 4th of December. I'm so happy I got, well, kind of got sleep in. Still yawning. My body clock woke me up at 6.30, so. But I can go back to sleep if I really want. But also I don't have to go to work. I get to just chill, which is very nice. I'm still waking up. Not the worst touching angle, but that's okay. So today, I plan on knitting. <laughs> Is, yeah, I plan on knitting. I have yesterday's vlog to edit and upload. Thursday's is up. I put that up last night. I've got to do yesterday's. Want to get my swatch for sample knit done so I can block it. That's the word. Um, I think we'll probably be going out somewhere today. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm hoping to go to a market here in Palmy. That's quite, quite close to my house. It's in city centre. It's a craft market. So I want to go to that. We're also planning on going to Kmart because we need batteries. I think we were talking about getting blue tack too so we could put the lights up. And then I want to have a look at Christmas decorations because why not. <laughs> um, we also need milk because we are completely out of milk. So my coffee is not going to have milk in it this morning. Which is kind of annoying. But... It's not the end of the world because the coffee I use, I think it already has milk powder in it. But I just like having more milk. But yeah. So that's the plan for today. Also this weekend I need to go through my yarn cabinet, my stash, because... I mean, if you've been around the channel a bit, you'll know that I'm trying to use up some of my stash and kind of phase out things that I'm not using anymore. I'm definitely moving more into... Wanting to work with natural fibres, especially wool and alpaca, probably my two favourite. And But I have a lot of acrylic yarn that I've accumulated over the years. Um, like a lot. I've accumulated a lot. And so I've been trying to use it up. But obviously there's only so many, so many hours in the day and at the moment where my mojo is. doing I'm not being able to I'm not really using up much of it at the moment but I was at work yesterday and one of the cleaners she's a crocheter and she asked if I had any that I'd want to get rid of and that's probably actually quite a good idea so I'm going to go through my stash and put together like a box or a bag or a couple of them of stuff I don't need anymore and take that to her on Monday. It's the plan. So I've also got to do that at some point this weekend. Uh, because she was saying that she can't get what she normally gets. And coming up to the Christmas Christmas break. And she needs something to work on. So. And I said I had some of the ones that some of the one that she got she, that she quite often gets anyway. So um it's gonna go to a new home and be used um, rather than just sitting and just taking up space because I want to make room for yarns that I'm really going to want to use. So think, yeah, things like wool, um, not necessarily hand dyed as much as I love hand dyed yarn. I can't afford it all the time. So, but there is some. Um, there's like a local, like there's a New Zealand mill here that does a lot, like all natural fibres. So I can get some from there and they're quite affordable. And then just in general, I mean even Spotlight is carrying more natural fibres now. Uh, brands like Naturally, it's a big one. Uh, they carry a lot of them. And I think it's like Chas Chaska, 
does alpaca and spotlight carries them now as well so it's a lot easier to get natural fibers now which i'm glad because i just prefer the feeling of wool i know for some people like it's just depending on the wool it can be quite rough and i'm similar in the sense that i can't really wear like the rustic wools um but merino and superwash i really enjoy so but and oh and highland wool actually i was knitting a jumper out of highland wool and that was not too bad that was knit picks palette but in order to get that i have to get it shipped from the uk which means it takes a while because postage is insane right now so i mean the shipping isn't too bad actually like in the sense that i think it's like a couple of quid so it ends up being about six to eight dollars i think new zealand it's not expensive anyway i think it's maybe like three quid maybe four it's not much Anyway, um, I think the most I've paid was about £6, which is about $12. Which when you're getting shipping from the UK and it gets here in like a week, it's not bad. Um, however, a lot of things will not be coming in just a week because of COVID and the shipping. And I'm trying to keep a lot of my business here in New Zealand at the moment. But sometimes we just can't get stuff here. We're a little bit, we're a little bit isolated in the sense that we sometimes just need to get stuff from overseas. We just don't have it here, which is sucky, but that's okay. We live on a small island, basically. Our country is three islands. So, you know, that's that, that's the reality of that one. But, so that's my plan for the weekend. I need to clean the house too, because, oh. There's stuff from the Christmas tree is <sighs> recycling and rubbish needs to go out I need to do washing yeah and I want to sort out my sofa too because my projects are going to take taken over which is not bad necessarily <laughs> uh, I think it's left over from when I did a podcast but the issue is, is one that John can't actually sit down and two there's just a lot of mess around me and I'm not quite liking that so that is my plan for today but I am going to go and get a coffee oh sorry guys coffee and some food and wake myself up a little bit I'm gonna probably put something on the tv and I'm gonna nap for a bit I'm gonna work on my swatch oh you can't see because my hands in the way a swatch is in this bag by mama willing <laughs> uh, i bought yeah from mama willing not long ago i have her cast on calendar now she's doing mini sets today oh my gosh <laughs> i'm gonna have no money <laughs> uh, uh, it's a good thing that um I'm getting extra hours of work. I think I'm gonna need it. Um, so yeah. But I, I saw that she said about doing an update today and I was like, oh my gosh. I've already bought so much of your yarn. <laughs> She's one of my absolute favorites. So I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I still have a bunch of yarn as well that I want to get from Strawberry Patches, but I need to make a list. I need to make like a list of dyers that I want yarn from. Maybe put it on my fridge so that John knows what to get me for Christmas. Oh, and a new Swift. Because if you saw Tuesdays, I had a bit of a problem and I still got to wind another three skeins of the Mesa Skeins yarn. And then obviously the cast on calendar yarn if I want to use. Oops, I've got a needle stuck in it. Ah, if I want to use this, I've got to wind this up. So. Yeah. 
I've also been thinking recently as well about getting new needles. Like, I enjoy these. These are, hold on. These are knit picks. I, I've used them for about a year now. They are the Caspian needles, interchangeables. It's focusing on me and not the needles. Don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to do this one handed. The issue is, is that because I'm blogging, I only have one hand. Right, if I block my face. Uh, no, still focusing on me. But, um, I gave up on that. So yeah, I have these, but, and I, I like these, but I do want to try out some new needles. And also find out with the smaller sizes, like these are 3.5, these are not too bad. But, um, when you get to like the 2s, 2.5s, they, because they're wood, they can be quite flimsy, and I'm worried I'm going to snap them. And I have... I did actually, like, I got them then like a month later, I accidentally sat on one of my 4mm and broke that. And then I had to get it shipped from, again, from the UK. That's how I got the pallet yarn, because I had to buy a new needle tip. Which I can't get the needle tips here in New Zealand, only the set. I didn't want to buy a whole new set. So, I've been thinking about new needles, but I don't need new needles. I would like to get some new sock needles, though. I've heard that Chow Girl are good, but yeah, oh my gosh, I'm not good at this blogging thing. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have food and coffee and knit a bit. John is still asleep. He'll probably still be asleep until I wake him up because that's normally what happens on his days off. Um, so yeah, I'm just playing with my needles now. Put them away. I will, yeah, I'm going to go get my food now, I said that like three times, and yeah, check in later.
Hi guys, again it's a lot later in the day, it is 6.30 in the evening. I ended up having a, well we say a nap, it's more of a sleep for like four hours. And I'm not feeling 100%, which is not great, I seem to be sweating, having a bit of a fever, which is not great and my throat's playing up. So, yeah. uh, we need to get milk. So John's getting shoes on at the moment. Um, I'm seriously considering putting the aircon on, even though John said it's not that hot. But I am burning up. <sighs> I'm sweating. So I'm also considering getting changed into my pajamas and just, I don't know. I don't, yeah, don't feel 100%, which is not great. I was fine this morning, but had a nap, obviously needed it, and then woke up feeling horrendous, so. Eh, yeah. we'll see. Hey, uh, so John's just gone to go get milk and a couple of other bits. I'm staying home because of well, obvious reasons. Just in case because I have a bit of a fever and I'm feeling a bit weak and my nose is playing up a little bit so I'm not gonna go to the supermarket <laughs> uh, until I'm feeling better because not ideal I ended up caving and I've put the aircon on which is probably what you can hear <sighs> just because I am still sweltering um, so yeah, not ideal. I um, and if I am sick, really not ideal because we have no one who could cover me at work. So fingers crossed that tomorrow I'll wake up fine. <laughs> that's that's the hope. Otherwise, we are going to be stressing and my poor manager. So my she's like acting manager at the moment. She's Auckland's manager, but. She's also my old boss before I moved to, moved to Palmy. So the manager we had here, she's finished now. She's left work. So we're not under someone up in Auckland until they find someone. Um, and I doubt she wants to get a text from me on a Sunday saying, hey, what do we do? I'm still not feeling great. I have a fever. I have COVID symptoms. What do I do? Thing is, I haven't been in contact with anyone, but like anyone that's had symptoms or COVID, but you know, just for things how they are. I want to be on the safe side. I don't feel horrible, so probably tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll be fine, which is the hope. Because sometimes, I don't know if you guys get this, but when you're exhausted, I end up getting what would be the equivalent of COVID symptoms. I end up feeling really fatigued. I get a temperature. I feel really weak, quite lightheaded and faint. I get really thirsty and I just don't feel very good. So I'm hoping it's just lack of sleep and just being exhausted. Even though I go to bed at a decent time every night. I don't know. So I'm going to put the TV back on. At the moment, where is it? I'm missing on my tyranny again. Oops. So this is one of the front panels. So, I mean, if I can get the front panel done, that'd be cool. Uh, I do need to pull out... Where is it hiding? I need to put the needle tips back on it. And my test net for Kelly Monster. Like, seriously. Um, I did apply for another test net for another designer, but I haven't heard back yet. I can't remember the designer's name. It was on Yarn Pond. Um, so. We'll see. We will see. I don't want to do too many test nets, though, over the Christmas period. Um, simply just because of... Well, I just want to be able to work on my own stuff over Christmas 
Boxing Day, no, well, it will be Boxing Day, but like from Christmas Eve to the 24th through the 29th, it is just like myself and John and Ash. Um, John goes back to work on Boxing Day, so it will just be me and the cat for a few days. Um, during the day while he's at work, because I'm off work during that time. Um, so I'm so looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm so tired. Um, and with there being shortages of supervisors, I can't say I'm... Su Sorry, that's the dishwasher. I can't say I'm super excited about holidays, because it's going to be stressful. And I cannot do those extra long days. Um just mentally I can't do it so it's uh, it's hard it is hard but um yeah no hopefully I'll find more supervisors soon hopefully before the holidays otherwise we're kind of all screwed um and then yeah from I have Christmas Eve off I applied for leave so I'm off Christmas Eve so that I can spend the time the day with John um, if we have friends who are still in Palmy and not doing family stuff, then we may see if they want to, you know, do something Christmas Eve. Maybe even Christmas Day if they're on their own as well. Um, I imagine a lot of people will be going to see family or will be with family because a lot of our friends have family around Palmy. So, I mean, one of my quite good friends um she got married in, end of October so like a month and a bit ago but they're going to like her family here in Palmy but she's going to Christchurch with her husband because they're spending the day with his family so they won't be here and then a couple of my, of my friends will either probably be in Auckland or Tauranga, so it might be a quiet Christmas this year, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Kind of a bit, it's kind of a bit sad, um, but we're going to do like a big Christmas thing later. So my sisters and my mum are all going to get their presents probably Christmas Eve, so I mean not Christmas Eve, sorry, New Year's Eve, so we're going to do like a new year's slash christmas thing so they're coming down the 29th they're going to be here for new year's eve and so probably new year's eve new year's day we'll do like presents and then I, or maybe maybe new year's eve we'll do presents and things and then new year's day we'll do like the big dinner we've got a ham and things like that so we're going to do like a delayed delayed christmas mum wanted to be here but things are just not worked out the way that we wanted and we can't get to Auckland which sucks that would have been the absolute best thing would be for us to get up to Auckland but uh two days doesn't really cut it because the drive itself is like six hours so if, if you go non-stop if you stop it's like eight so it's like a whole day of driving so we'd at minimum need three days which we don't have and then even then we'd have one day, which would be Christmas Day. We would actually be in Auckland. So, kind of doesn't work, which is sad. But John just can't get the time off. Um, he tried, but if anyone, if any of you guys work in retail, you probably understand the, um, the problem with that. Because Boxing Day is busy for retail, so they just don't have the staffing to cover. He's back at work on Chris on Boxing Day. I keep saying Christmas Day. He doesn't work Christmas Day. Thankfully, neither neither of us do. So yeah, those are our Christmas plans at the moment. I'm going to probably knit on this for a little bit more. Um, I do need to work on this, and I need to put the needle tips back on because <laughs> I used because this is being knit on a three point five with the end of my cable um so I've got stoppers on it at the moment because I needed 3.5 for the swatch which I finished but needs to be blocked now 
So I've got four different sizes. Starting from a four millimeter up to a 3.25. So hopefully one of these four should give me gauge. <laughs> hopefully, that is the hope. If I had to take a wild guess, it's probably gonna be the 3.5. Maybe the 3.75, I don't think it'll be the 4. However, I do like the fabric of the 4, but I've got a follow gauge. Because it's a sample knit. So, yeah, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to knit a bit. John will probably be back soon with milk and things. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think my TV's frozen because when I spoke to you guys about saying that I was sick... I said it was 6.30 and it's still saying 6.31 and I've been talking to you this section for almost 10 minutes. So I think my TV's gone to sleep. So we're going to wake it up. <laughs>